how did you start with painting? Um, all my life, ever since I was about four years old, I've always painted. Wow. I just love it. Can't, can't stop. It's an obsession more than anything else. What did your mother think when you were painting all the time? And well, they were very nice actually. They, <laughs> they encouraged me and uh, drew in all my little sketchbooks at school when I was supposed to be doing maths. <laughs> like doodling but then a little yes, bit more involved. Right. Yes, I did. What kind of things did you draw? Um, well, when I was younger, it's mostly portraits and landscapes and seascapes, that sort of thing. But as I got older, I started um, go, going towards the fantasy world. And I love fairies and goddesses, and I love surrealism. And um, it seems the madder the paintings are, the more people like them. <laughs> who, uh, who inspired you? Um, oh, many artists. Um, the old ones, like um, obviously Dali and um, Arthur Rackham. And I try and mix it all up. You're right here at the Al Fantasy Fair. I love it here. What were your impressions of the Al Fantasy I've Fair? I've never been before and I was absolutely bowled over by all the wonderful costumes. People are so imaginative. I can't, I can't believe it, really. I saw a, a wonderful dog who was a mixture of a dog and a unicorn and had bat wings as well. But we were too late to take a photograph, but I'll keep it in my head. And he, might, he might come up in a painting, yes. <laughs> I love using pure colour. My dad, uh, he likes painting, he always encouraged me, as I said. Mm -hmm. And um, he used to say, oh, your colour is a bit muddy, Josephine. So I never do muddy colours now. Okay. <laughs> and, and I love mixing giant and little, like um, a giant rabbit and a giant bird. And that is a little crystal water lily on the windowsill. And I stuck an egg in it, you see. And, um, you know, tiny little pixies carrying that and making it look huge. And really, it's tiny itself. Yeah. I just, I just have fun with it. <laughs> and that, that's fun, and that's fun. It's all, it's all fun, really. Quite mad. I love doing hidden faces. In the tree there, there's one and another one. And that is inspired by Arthur Rackham. And then all these trees have them. And on the back of the canvas, I write down how many I paint. And then whoever buys the... Um, painting, they spend all their time looking for the hidden faces. And you don't <laughs> add one just for good measure? Um, sometimes they find them when I haven't put them there. They just find them by themselves. Yeah. <laughs> There's some kissing faces in the shell. Oh yeah! Thank you very much. Thank you so much too.